welcome back to my channel and thanks for stopping in and watching this video I am Iris Seriani and I specialize in helping women who are struggling with alcohol misuse as a result of trying to cope with a toxic relationship I help them break free from destructive patterns and create a future filled with joy and purpose. And in this video, I am talking about when your world is falling apart, to not try and stop it, just allow it to happen because it's not working anyways we are going to be exploring why that's a good thing even though it feels really bad so sometimes when things in our life are not working properly or they haven't been working properly it is our tendency to try and hang in there, push through, to be strong, to suck it up, that we need to be doing this and that it's really not as bad as it seems and what's the matter with us and why are we not trying harder? So it's our, it's our programming that has us thinking that there's something wrong with us and that we should be trying harder and doing more and giving more and trying to be more and that doesn't work because that leads to a lot of destructive behaviors and it contributes to mental health issues and anxiety and panic attacks and fear that goes completely out of control and it causes many of us to turn to some type of substance, drugs or alcohol, to cope with the unhappiness that we feel inside. And so when God or the universe pulls out the big guns, that's what I call it, the big guns, what happens is you are always being guided towards happiness and fulfillment. But there's a part of us that feels attached to the relationship or whatever happens to be going on in our life. And we try and push and push and push and give so much more than we have available to give anymore and so but the universe will continue to always want to steer you in a direction that is going to help you up level and take you to a place that is more in alignment for you that is going to bring you more joy and happiness purpose and fulfillment but we ignore it and the more we ignore it the worse the pain becomes. And maybe you've experienced this too. I know for me, I've experienced this over and over and over again. And there's a pattern that's hidden in these experiences as well. And, we, and you might find yourself saying like, I thought I learned from this. Why am I here again? Or why is this happen again? I thought we fixed this. Why is this happening again? But there's an underlying pattern that is being played out there so back to the universe pulling out the big guns and really helping you see that what you're doing is not healthy for you and that you are meant to go in a different direction and what this looks like is complete dropping away of everything in your life and I'll give you an example based on my own experiences so what happened with me is it was a literally I can feel a voice speaking through me that I needed to leave this relationship so first it was a thought and then I would ignore the thought until behaviors became so heightened that 
one day I just I just heard the words come out of my mouth I'm not happy and I don't want to be in this relationship anymore that was the first thing that happened something happened before that I was downsized in a corporate career and that catapulted me into a, a state of panic and fear that kept me holding on to a relationship far longer than I should have um, hung on to that relationship and then the third thing that happened was my financial world absolutely crumbled I, it's almost like these blocks just kind of fell you can just visualize them just falling away financial ruin that took me five years to recover from so everything started to fall away from my life and what ended up happening is that I ended up selling absolutely everything I owned and I went on a journey to find myself and so but during this process back going back to how the big guns the universe will will pull in the big guns you are perfectly positioned if your life is starting to fall apart know that is uncomfortable as that is for you you are actually in a really good place to heal and make some really courageous steps in starting to change what hasn't been working in your life just know that as things start to be taken out of your life people will disappear money may disappear things may become very very chaotic in your life and it'll in, it'll cause you to perhaps go into this panic mode and we start to scramble and search for things to grasp onto but there's nothing to hold on to because you're not meant to hold on to anything i listen to myron golden who teaches bible concepts as they're applicable to entrepreneurship and businesses and one thing that he says and i think is relevant here as well is that when you make a commitment and a decision to make changes in your life or to do something or to have a goal chaos will start to swirl around you and that is that is so true and I find myself in that same position where I have made a commitment to myself in two areas of my life and as soon as I made that commitment to myself chaos started to swirl around me and so when you make a commitment to change yourself and create a new life for yourself just anticipate and know that the chaos that's going to come as a result of that commitment to yourself that is going to bubble up to the surface and it is because there are parts of you that are going to scramble to hold on to everything you believe to be true or thought that you needed to have in your life and in fact what's happening is that Things are being taken out of your life so that you are allowed to blossom through to your next level that is going to bring you that joy and happiness and fulfillment and peace and things will start to flow naturally in your life. And the process, it's not easy. Just like when we break a leg, there is a lot of chaos that happens as we learn to hobble around on crutches and start to acclimate ourselves to a new way of being and that's exact same thing when we make the commitment to let life take everything out of our life that doesn't belong in our life or no longer belongs in our life it's going to take time for you to acclimate to a new way of being and the higher the more work you do on yourself you'll reach a level and then more stuff will come up and then you reach a level and then more stuff will come up but I promise you that if you let 
things fall apart that you know haven't been working, you're not going to stay in that state of chaos forever. Things will simmer down and they will settle down and you will find a flow in your life again. And uh, all nothing lasts forever. That is one thing I've learned is that nothing lasts forever. So if you're struggling to hold on to something that hasn't been working for such a long time and has really crushed your sense of self and your self-worth and your confidence in yourself, let it all fall apart. You are just, you are so protected and you are so loved and you are so in the right place at the right time to make changes in your life so that you can transform and be happy and live the way you want to live. So I hope this has been helpful for you. If you resonated with this video and you like my content, go ahead and subscribe to my channel, like this video, share it, leave a comment, and until I see you again, take good care.